learn programming skills welcomes you to another tutorials on command prompt in this video we are going to learn how to create a text file which can be a notepad document a microsoft word document a powerpoint document or a portable document file so i'm going to show you two commands that can help you to use the command prompt to create a text file and at the end of the video you are going to choose the best command that is going to work best for you on my desktop background i have these two files created and this is a word file and this is a powerpoint file now anytime you want to create a text file using the command prompt window there is one thing you have to notice that is the extension of the document you want to create because you are going to use an application so you need to identify the extension the file extension of that particular document so on your desktop background or your windows desktop if you want to identify an extension of your file let's open the file explorer now in this file explorer window you click on the view tab then we have the show and the hide window let's click on the file name extensions now when you minimize this window you can see that we have the extension for this document and also for this powerpoint file so the extension for this document is docx and also the powerpoint file is pptx so we have other extensions for other documents such as the notepad document and also the pdf file so for portable document file the extension is pdf and also for the notepad we have the extension as txt so we are going to base on this file extensions then we use the command prompt window which is our software to create our text file so at the end you choose the best one that works for you and i said i'm going to show you two commands that you can use to create your text file now before then i'm going to delete these files now let's open command prompt on our desktop background now in this command prompt window this is our current directory which is the c colon users bossman i'm going to switch to the desktop and for you to identify directories of a particular directory we are going to use the command dir this is going to display all the directories that we have in this current location and as usual i'm going to select the desktop directory so I'm going to type the CD desktop. And now my desktop is my identified and also the current directory I'm going to use to perform this particular task. Now we are going to start with our first command, which is called the echo command. And I'm going to use this echo command to create a text file that is the notepad document and also a Microsoft Word document. So let's look at how this command can operate. So I'm going to type the echo command. Now, after typing this command, the next thing that you have to do is to type the information you want to display within that document. So let's assume that this is the information I want to display within my notepad text file. And after typing this information, you press the space bar, then you type the greater than symbol. And after typing the greater than symbol, we press the space bar. Then you type the name of the file, then you add the extension to it. So this is the name I want to have for this file, which is Jonas. Then you type the dot symbol and type the txt. And the txt is the file extension of your notepad. Then after doing this, you press the enter key on the keyboard. When you move to the desktop, you can see that we have this file name with the extension given to this document. And if you want to display the information you have within this document, you type the name as usual and the file extension and press the enter key. When you move back to your command prompt, this is the current location, which is the desktop. And that is where we have this file located. So I'm going to type the file name and the extension in this command line. Then you press the enter key. 
now we have this notepad application opened and then we have all the information that we typed in the command prompt window and as you can see notepad program is a special software for creating batch files and documents so this is what we had in our command prompt window so let's close this so this is the first command you can use to create a text file or a notepad document now let's see how we can create a microsoft word document so let's type the echo command then as usual you type the information you want to display within your microsoft word document then we bring our greater than symbol now this is the name that we want to have for our word document by the extension of microsoft word is docx then you press the enter key when i move back to my desktop i have this word document also opened and when you type the name and extension within your command prompt this is going to open microsoft word and you are going to have your information displayed in this word document so this is the first command which is the echo command you can use to create a text file or a word document now let's assume that you have additional information you want to add to your previous information based on your created document and in this case i'm going to use the notepad document we already have an information within the notepad document and i want to add an additional information to it so this is what you are going to do you type the echo command then you type the additional information you want to add to your previous information and after typing the additional information you press the space bar now in this era what you are going to do is to type the greater than symbol twice this indicates that you want to add an additional information to an existing document then you press the space bar and type the file name and also the extension of your document then you press the enter key now this operation is done let's open this document and see if we have this additional information added to our previous document and as you can see beautifully we have this information added to our notepad document let's move to our second command which we are going to use to create a powerpoint file and also a pdf document and i'm going to clean this system within command prompt so i'm going to type the cls and i still have my desktop as my current location now let's jump into our second command which we can use to create our text document or our file or any document we want to create based on the extension and this command is called a copy con so this is the command we are going to use so after typing the copy con command you press the space bar then you type the name of the file and its extension so i'm going to type so this is the file name that is james and the extension is pptx and that is the powerpoint extension so after typing this command in this line of code then the next thing we are going to do is to hold the control key and the letter z on the keyboard and when you do this this lock this line of code so that you can move to the next line and type your information you want to display within the powerpoint presentation so i'm going to press the enter key and this moves this blinking cursor to the next line so this gives you the room to type any information you want within this command prompt so let's assume that this is the information we want to have within our powerpoint presentation which has been typed within command prompt so 
now that this is done the next thing is to hold the control key and the letter z once again and this also locks and end this information now when you press the enter key it says one file is copied so when you move to the desktop background you can see that we have created this file which is a powerpoint file when you open this file we are going to have the information that we have created within this special software now let's look at how to create a pdf file using our command prompt window so i have created a portable document file using command prompt and when i move to my desktop I have this file also created perfectly on the desktop background and when you type the name and extension of this file this will open this file on your windows interface now i have typed the name and also the extension of this file and this gives me a pop-up how do you want to open this file so i can choose any of this browser or if I have any installed PDF app on my desktop, I can choose that particular app to open this file. So this is how to create text files, Word documents, PDF file, PowerPoint file using command prompt. The only thing that you have to note is the file name that you want to have for your file and also the file extension as well. And when you do this, this is going to work perfectly on your computer system. Thank you for watching this video. If this is very helpful, and I want to know your comments and also share this video as well. If you have any other video you want me to tackle or also to make on this channel, please leave that comment in the comment section. And I will be very faithful to assess that comment and also make a hit to that. Thank you for watching this video and we shall meet in our next tutorials.